What's up, everyone? ODC here, and uh, well, well, my mic is <laughs> the correct microphone. Okay, good. It's uh, going through the headset. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> what's up, everyone? ODC here, and uh, this is a kind of a random thing. Um, I'm actually going to do a live review today. Hopefully, this works out. I was having some computer issues. I don't know. My computer's being bipolar today, but um. I'm going to do a uh, live uh, review today of something I picked up, True Heroes slash G.I. Joe related. I do have some G.I. Joe figures that I did pick up from a flea market, a super flea. Um, pleasantly surprised. There's a couple exclusives here. Um, Jocon exclusives that I had zero intention on ever really getting, but... Um, I did pick up, so there's going to be that also. Let me just pick, uh, get my live chat up so I can chat with you guys while we talk about the figures and I show you the figures and we do the True Heroes review. So let me just get my chat up here. Um, I'm in no rush today. This is going to be an easy, laid back, sit back, enjoy, watch the, the live review. <laughs> Alright. Hope everyone's doing good today. Enjoying your weekend, I hope. There we go. Got the chat up. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Who's here? WWE fan, what's up? How you doing, bud? Okay. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the flea market stuff first. We'll get that stuff out of the way. I actually picked up four exclusives. One's an older exclusive. I, I actually, um, since... This actually, I'll just bring it in here. Is the uh, the Jocon exclusive Saw Viper? Um, this was a part of a set that came with a bunch of Saw Vipers. Um, this is obviously the uh, more flamboyant Saw Viper uh, of the, uh, as opposed to the regular release that came in the three pack. Um, but I did not, you know, I didn't pay an absorbent amount of money. I think this is going for around thirty dollars. On eBay, if you check eBay, it's going for around that price range. Uh, I did not pay thirty dollars for this. I paid around twenty, and I thought that was a good price for an exclusive. And uh, I mean, I like. Don't get me wrong. I, I like the 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 three pack just as much. But uh, this guy's got a little bit different web gear. He's a little bit more, um, I guess, purple, brighter. I should say. He looks good, though. I really do like him. Um, so, I mean, I, I like this version. I'm not really sure if, you know, which one I like more. I guess it's a, I guess I could consider one a more classic look, and, well, uh, they're both kind of modern, to modern look, uh, very modern-esque looks for them. Um, I'm pretty sure that this body was used in the three pack, except for the web gear and the backpack is included in this one where the three pack did not have a backpack or this web gear. It had a little bit different web gear. Um, but I, I actually really like this one. It looks pretty good. So there's that. And then we have three Jocon exclusives. Now I actually picked these three up and then I got one, I think I got, what was it Skywave from Big Boy Collectibles? So he hooked me up with that. WWE fan, you said you got a girlfriend. Good for you, man. That's awesome. 
Um, so the first one I picked up is uh, whoa, 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 command buttons being hit. First one I picked up is uh, Skydive. And I'm pretty much going to use the majority of these guys as, uh, especially Skydive, as a, a pilot. Because I need more pilots. We don't have that many pilots, really, when you think about um, as far as G.I. Joes go. I mean, you got Ace, you have Scarlet, um, and, you know, like pilot gear. Um, I mean, I know that all the, most of the, the majority of the Joes can, are, are uh, they can fly a plane, stuff like that, but um, in like pilot gear. So there's Skydive. Um, what do you have? Scarlet in pilot gear. You have Ace. You have Slipstream. And you have uh, Wild Bill. And so, so there is Skydive. And then we got uh, Drop Zone here. There is drop zone. This is really not focusing the way I want it to. And you can pop the helmet off. And I'm pretty sure, let me take this base off. These um these don't stand too well on the bases. Um pretty much underneath it is just the the your your dusky dusty head from Pursuit of Cobra. Um, but he looks pretty cool. I'm probably, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna use these guys as some pilots because I have a whole bunch of planes and not enough pilots for the planes. Underneath here, we've got uh, I don't know who is whose head is this? Maybe it's Fl I don't want to say it's Flint. It's either Flint or maybe Falcon. I'm not sure. You guys can let me know in the chat. But uh, there you go. And that is Airwave. Uh, they pretty much, uh, Airwave and Drop Zone pretty much come with the same helmet, uh, just a little bit of different of a paint deco. He's got a little bit more of a, uh, actually, I should switch this back because I think he had this one. He's got the lighter helmet. And... Drop Zone has the darker helmet. So there you go with the comparison for the two. Um, so there's that. I'm not going to so much do or I might do like a full review of all of those three or four actually I should say. Um, I mostly wanted to get to the True Hero stuff because it's, it's a, a newer item that I have not seen in stores. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a newer sculpt too. Um, so that's pretty cool. Also picked up this from the flea market. This was what, 10 bucks? General Flag, the son of General Flag, the original General Flag. This is General Flag 3. It was also released in the FSS Club. But this is the original from the Battle Corps. This was 10 bucks. Nice and sealed in this packaging. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So pretty nice looking carded figure, 10 bucks. Um, I ended up going to Toys R Us because it was in the, uh, it was around the area that I went. Um, so I actually went to a bunch of stores and I was looking for, um, what was it? Cyborg from the justice league wave. I was looking for cyborg flash. And then I was looking for Reaper for a couple of my, you know, Rob's rogues was looking for Reaper. And then I believe Olivia, either Olivia or Stu. We we're looking for cyborg and, uh, the flash. Um, so I was looking, I was actually shopping for them and I ended up picking a couple of figures up They're uh, NECA related, but, uh, I picked up this, and I actually was – I passed on it. I saw it at my, my closer Toys R Us, and then I went to the further one by the end of the day. And uh, I this is actually my first Xenomorph pickup. I, I don't own any Xenomorphs, and 
I never have. I kind of always passed on them because I heard a lot of horror stories of A, bad quality control with most of the Xenomorphs, and uh, B, um, them n having a lot of trouble standing up. So that was kind of a, a, a letdown for me as far as what I've seen with reviews and quality control issues with some of the Xenomorphs. But I picked up the Defiance Xenomorph. Um, he has a really nice sculpt. He's got the spines on top of the head. Um, I'm not sure if this is the uh, just a repaint of the Alien Warrior Xenomorph. I'm pretty sure that the Alien Warriors didn't have spines on top of their head. Um, this looks really awesome, though. I'm trying to get not my screen glare here. Let me go up here really quick. But I'm going to open this up too. I'm going to open this up on camera and we're going to, I'm going to show this off as well. So don't worry. Um, also picked up a, a second alien and uh, you know, even though the, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the movie. Um, I like this sculpt and it actually is a, a, a different sculpt. I'm not sure if this, like I said, I, this, these are my first two xenomorphs here and uh, I don't have a whole lot of NECA xenomorphs to be honest with you. Uh, these are the only two that I have. So I figured, um, I liked the, that the sculpts are actually different between this one and this Alien Covenant Xenomorph. Now, I think this is technically the Alien Warrior. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but uh, the sculpt is actually different on here than on here. And I'm going to open up both of these, and I'm going to show you the difference between the two um, just so you guys can see it. Um, and the last piece that I picked up from the NECA products from Toys R Us was the considered lost wave of Prometheus. It is uh, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw. Uh, they did actually have Vickers there too, but I, I ended up passing on her. So there's Elizabeth Shaw, and I'll give you guys a close-up of her face sculpt. So I'm going to open up this too. I'm going to open up all of these. So like I said, sit back, relax. We're going to have a good time here. I'm not going anywhere for a little while. I am a little hungry, a little hungry. I also had a, a monster and I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I might be a little wired. Uh, but here's the true heroes pickup that I picked up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost dropped that shit. Holy cow. <laughs> um, but here is the... New, as far as I'm, I know that this is new. The tactical rescue unit boat, pretty cool. Um, this does come with two or three figures, actually. Uh, it also comes with a divers. You see this little, this little divers boat or jet jet ski, I guess. And it comes with a regular jet ski too up here. If you guys can see that. I'm gonna open this up. This is what we're gonna do as far as the review goes today. And we're going to go over those NECA aliens, too. Uh, also comes with a bunch of uh, accessories over there. You can see in the back, it does have a working searchlight in the front. Really cool. So if you wanted to go for, like, some sort of Coast Guard setup, this is the, the direction to go. And uh, just on the back artwork, here's the back. You guys can see the uh, working searchlight over here. It shows that off. We're going to get into that, and you can see the jet ski and the boat, and this is actually, just to note, uh, before I even open this up, just to note, this is not a re-sculpt of the battleship that was shown. Um, there is a, a kind of an undersized battleship that they, uh, True Heroes, were offering, and uh, they this is actually a different sculpt than that. So let's not waste any more time since you've seen the packaging. Who cares about packaging anyway? It's all about the figure inside, right? Um, let's get this opened up, and we're going to show this bad boy off. But if you guys have any questions or anything, let me get chat back up here. If you guys have any questions about anything I'm doing here, go ahead and feel free to ask. And... I thought this was a uh, cool, different way to do a review. A little interactive review. But I love how easy True Heroes is to unbox, too. You don't have 17,000 
things to whoop, right in the box. 17,000 things to unclip or pinch off. They pretty much have these little screwed in pegs. So simple. Whoop, right in the box. Even the figures are just pretty much screwed into the bottom. No? Why you'll be stubborn. Oh, I should have got my my little clipper. Bear me, bear with me while I I do this. Okay, we got the first figure off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything off first, and then we'll go through the whole spiel. But this boat looks really cool. Got a little scuba diver right here. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I am here to help as much as possible. I'd like this uh, review to be as interactive as possible. So, all right, we got, what do we have over here? There we go. Let's unscrew that off the back. Oop. Whee! Okay. All righty. Oh, this is a really cool looking jet ski. It's got little paddles on the back. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Perfect. If you want to use this for Cobra, perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, what do we have next? Let's get this off. Get that off of there. I got a little zip tie in the back. I'm going to cut this off. Right, you know what? I'm better off just twisting the zip tie. I forgot my little... Clipper shears. I don't know what the technical term for. All right. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. The boat is off. And this does float can it does float in water at least that's what the packaging says i'll probably do what i'll do is i'll probably do an update video of and I, i've been wanting to do this for a while of just basically a one i want to do one big video of me let me fix my camera here my lighting is poo poo right now there we go uh, i want to do one video of me just basically showing off vehicles that can float um, whether it be G.I. Joe, Chap May, Lennard, stuff like that. Um, pretty much anything three and three quarter inch or one eighteenth scale. If I can get this, god damn, this, the fuff is going on here. All right, there we go. Holy Toledo. Uh, Lamar Newton, what's up, buddy? Uh, he asks, uh, he says, what's up, ODC? You run across any jive turkey necks in your hall? Well, I haven't said that in so long, man. Wow, that's bringing back memories. We got some jive turkeys up in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, this is this is a really nice boat. This is really cool, and even you can even pop the top off. Oh, if it's oh, we got another, one more zip tie. They they had to zip tie that. <laughs> as I was just giving them props for not having too many zip ties on their products. 
Um, but you can pop this top off, and there's a little captain's chair in there. I would have liked maybe uh, some sort of dashboard in there with a a wheel, a cap, like a a little steering wheel in there. But use your imagination. That's what this, what this is all about, right? That's the best part about all this. Actually, wait a minute. Oh shit, that's awesome. I wonder. I wonder if this is a reuse it must be a reuse i think this body is a reuse of their assault boat with those two big missiles on there um which is a really intelligent reuse so um the the boat and let me just bring up a photo so you guys know what the hell i'm talking about um <laughs> the assault boat that they have let me find the what I'm talking about here. Here we go. I wonder if this is the same, but I think it is. It's not the battleship. It's not. Totally different body. Completely different body from the battleship. It's not the battleship. It's not the smaller boat. Right here. Let me screen share really quick. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I promise I'll screen share properly this time. Uh, present to everyone. There we go. Okay. Now, let me know, chat, that you can see this. It's this boat right here. It's got these two big missiles on it. Oh, that's a shitty... <laughs> that's a shitty uh, photo right there. It's really small. Uh, where are you? Come on. Oh my God! What is this? Oh, that's not. A, is that an actual? No, it's just a three D rendering. Uh, but it, I think it's this boat right here. Oh, it's so small. That's what she said. Oh, hi yo. There wasn't the original version. I always wanted uh, the original version that came out of that assault boat. There we go. This was the original version. And I think it it looks way better. Come on. Oh my god. Photo bucket. Uh here we go. This is the assault boat. No, I think it's a different sculpt. This must be new. Huh. What do you say? Yeah, because oh god, I'm gonna get 80 million pop-ups now. I'm out of here. Get out of here. All right, uh, so basically this this image right here, um, I thought this was the same body, and it looks like I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Maybe it's a little bit uh, retooled here. Yeah, this is the same. No, maybe it's not. It's close, I think. I think it is. Okay, so this body portion right here, this base, the base body right here, I think is the exact same, and it's got a new top portion to it. Um, so it's a, a retooled top portion of this assault boat. Now, this assault boat right here, I'm still trying to get my hands on. Um, it looks very similar to the Cobra Moray, um, especially with the side 50 cal guns right here. And then we've got these missiles in the back. I know the uh, Moray didn't have uh, uh, the missiles in the back, but... This looks really good, this boat. Uh, there is the updated version that's, I think, still available in Toys R Us, which has these missiles in the back, this version right here. Um, it's pretty much the same boat, um, even the 50 cal gun right here. But this version that I was just showing you, where'd you go? And there's the, the moray. There we go. Uh, but this version had more detail, had uh, a little bit more uh, paint apps on it. And it, I think it overall, just as a, as a product, looks better than the, the one they offer now. But uh, this the, the base of the boat is reused for this boat. So it's not, it's definitely not this. So, um, and even the upper hull is different. It's a new sculpt. So... That's good. All right, I'm gonna I'm done screen sharing here. 
and we'll go back to this step. Okay, so as you can see, this is the uh, the base of that. Uh, Zorpox, what's up, buddy? Uh, and uh, this whole upper portion from here up is new. Um, the I know this does look like the battleship, but it's actually not. Here's the working searchlight. Let me get this silliness off. There we go. Here is the working searchlight. You just kind of have to hold it down with some pressure. I kind of wish that this didn't do that. Well, yeah, I mean, you can do a... Oh, I fucked that up. That was horrible. So um, you can do a little Morse code there if you wanted to. That was SOS. Uh, but, yeah, I, I kind of wish that if you clicked it once, it would stay on. Let me just see if I can see how bright this is. Actually, no, I'm not going to be able to show you. But it does project onto the wall. It does. So it's not just a, a boring light. See, there you go. You can see it. Woo! Pretty cool. And it just pegs in right on the top here, like so. But, yeah, you do have to keep pressure on it, which kind of sucks. I mean, I guess you could just wrap a rubber band there or a white, a clear band if you wanted to keep that on. But it's still a cool little feature. Let me put my light back on. There we go. The boat itself looks really cool. Nice and bright. Like I said, if you want to use that Coast Guard look, I mean, you could even take these stickers. They're not on to the they're not attached to the boat you know how stickers get on there and they're like and you, you try to peel them off and they leave that residue and it sucks you have to go get the the goo gone stuff like that um the, the the some of these stickers are actually were actually peeling off as i got them as it was still in brand new in the package so i had to put them on and i think they actually look good so i might leave these stickers on it says tactical rescue unit on the side there So this is perfect for a Coast Guard setup. Looks really good. Love the working searchlight. That's a really nice touch. We've got the sonar or radar capabilities up top. And like I said, um, one more thing I wanted to point out is that there's actually another chair in there. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, wait, maybe this is a reuse from that battleship I just showed you guys. Or not the battleship, but the uh, assault boat. And I thought it was. But uh, maybe it's not. I don't know. Because there's two chairs in there. There's an upper chair right here. And there's that lower chair right there. So you can fit quite a few figures inside there, which is a really nice touch. I really do like this ladder and this nice staging area here. Look at how much room you have for a staging area for your divers and stuff. You could put a whole bunch of... Um, a uh, whole bunch of... of uh, accessories back there and everything it would have been another nice little cool touch to have this maybe this open up and you could put some stuff inside there if you want to keep it uh hidden we got some peg holes right here i'm not sure what those are for maybe they were probably you used for something else at the time maybe like a missile launcher went there or something like that um this was obviously this this part of the boat except for the rails i think might have been reused this part i think is a new sculpt not 100 percent sure on that let me just check chat and see if uh, anyone's yeah. uh zorpox what's up uh lamar also says what i hate about the valiver versus venom product was the damn <laughs> twist ties yeah i know i hear you uh, oh, he says he picked up, uh, Lamar picked up the Mori Hydrofoil from Vale vs. Venom. Yeah, it's it's an amazing boat. It, it's, it's, it's one of my favorite G.I. Joe vehicles, G.I. Joe, the franchise vehicles um, made, I think. It's definitely up there. 
as far as vehicles go. Um, this does have three wheels on there. Okay. I'm, I'm, hey, the more options you give me to use my imagination, that's fine with me. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I have a greenish, bluish, weird rug right here. If I wanted to do some sort of assault setup and I didn't want this in water, I could go that route. But this does actually float. It, it will float. Uh, like I said, I'll probably do a separate video on this, seeing as we're doing this live, um, showing a, a whole bunch of vehicles, uh, G.I. Joe vehicles that float. But this is a really nice-looking boat. If you're going for that Coast Guard feel, um, or if you want to do like a maybe like a Marauders Coast Guard team, you could go that route. This is a really nice-looking boat. So it's got three wheels on the bottom, and they roll nicely. Really cool. Really nice looking boat. Love the ladder. Like I said, I love the ladder right here. You can store stuff inside behind the ladder, and you can simply get to it by opening that up. There's a, a lot of nice things going on here. Let me just, uh, here we actually have a, he wouldn't be on this boat, but <laughs> just, to, just to scale it. Um, they, some of the figures, I mean, this is a vintage figure. They do make the boat look a little bit small, but I think it still works. That's a vintage figure, and we'll just bring in... I know you wouldn't be on this boat there, Skydive, but... Uh... <laughs> There is a 25th anniversary and up figure on the boat. Just for scale purposes. I think it still works. I mean, put him on the ladder. I don't think it's too out of the realm of... Oops. And then we can put him in the seat too. There we go. He's sitting in the... Oh! <laughs> he fell over. He fell over into the other seat, actually, which is kind of funny. But... I mean, he's going to fall if I do this, but I'll do it anyway. There you go. You can see him sitting in the seat. And there he goes again. And now he fell right into the other seat, like I said. But uh, there's more than enough room to fit figures in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, it does have some stickers on the top. It would have been, uh, uh, it says this is a helicopter landing pad. Mm -mm, not happening. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely not happening. But I'm really, I I'm liking it. I'm liking it. it, it I'm, like I said, it is a little bit small when it as it is uh, here. And here's some of the figures that it came with. I've got uh, looks like to be some sort of a, it's almost like a SWAT gear, SWAT team guy. And we've got uh, almost this guy almost looks like Flint a little bit. Hmm, pretty cool. And then we have our diver here. Pretty cool. And they're, I mean, they're they are pretty much five points of articulation. The head swivels, the arm swivel, and the leg swivel. Oh, no, I would say uh, seven points of articulation. The ankles swivel up and down on, on the diver. Um, the other two, not so much. So five points of articulation on these two guys. Seven on the diver. Um, the little, now there's that's for the boat. It does come with this little pretty much, I don't think this is going to float um, in water. It's kind of like a little diver boat. I don't know what you call it. Diver scooter. 
but there's the sculpting on it. It does have a handle on each side. They're faced a different way, which is kind of odd, but the diver can fit on there, and due to his hands being opposites, pretty much just peg like so. Oh, he's got a little rubber band on there. Let's get that off. Okay. Oh, get that off. But it looks, looks all right. Looks cool. You could probably fit a Joe on there. Let's try to fit a Joe on this. Come back, skydive. You're my, you're my test dummy today. Skydive, a.k.a. the water rescuer today, or rescuee. <laughs> we'll just have to imagine that Skydive is a diver today. But he can hold on to it, no problem. Obviously, you wouldn't pose him like this. I just kind of half-assed it. But there you go with that. And it does have some stickers as far as detailing goes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, this ran around $30. It was $29.99 for the, the set, in case anyone's wondering. And now we'll get to the jet ski. He did a really good job with the sculpt. I like that it comes with these paddles, too. It's a nice little option to have. Got some guns on the top, on the front. Looks good. Looking good, my friends. So you could definitely use this for Cobra. It's nice and nice blue. Nice that Cobra blue. The um, the bar handles are so you can swivel those. That's nice. Looks really good, and you can remove the oars. Look good. Well, let's fit a figure on there. We have to do that, right? Come back, skydive. Where'd you go, buddy? There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's check chat while we're doing this. Yeah, the jet ski does look good. I agree. Damn you, Hasbro, and your shitty little hands. Fucking. I'm telling you, man. Some of these. Makes me love Marauders that much more. I'm telling you. Some of these hands. Fucking terrible. Stop being a pain in my dick. There we go. All right. That took entirely too long, by the way. <laughs> there we go. He fits on there perfect. Look at that. Now, like I said, imagine this is wetsuit or <laughs> somebody else. Looks good. Looking good. Uh, Lamar, Lamar says, uh, how well do the Marauders action figures scale with modern era Joe's, for example, pursuit of Cobra 30th anniversary. Perfect. They're right in there with them, right in there with them. So please, I mean, if anyone 
is going to sit here and 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 suggest that you go get Marauders figures, it's me. I am probably one of the biggest advocates for Marauders uh, gun runners uh, or task force, I should say. Also, if you guys get a chance, even while you're watching this, if you want to, go over to my Facebook page and check out the dogs that they're releasing, fully articulated dogs, canines for 118 scale uh, Marauders and GI Joes. You use them with your Joes. All this stuff is 118 scale. So uh, go check that out. I posted all the new releases that are coming out, I believe, 2018. I don't know if the dogs, the they have exosuits too. You know what? Screw it. Don't even go over there. I'll just show you. I'll screen share it. The hell with it. Show you right now, right? That's why I'm here. Share. Present to everybody. Alright, I'll just go come on. Here we go. I posted this earlier today. I'll say around noon. They are doing uh World War II figures coming twenty eighteen. So you World War II fans out there, um I'm a big fan of World War II. I know it's not for everybody, but a lot of uh, a lot of people are very excited about this. Um, you know, I have family members that were in World War II, fought in World War II. So um, I do have a couple ideas for characters as far as that goes. Uh, I would love to do a Dirty Dozen from this. Um, I can't wait to see you know, final products and stuff like that, but they are coming out 2018. Um, here's the dogs. I'm going to show you also what's going on with the dogs, the design and everything. There's a couple different face sculpts for the dogs. There's accessories for the dogs. It's going to look great. Here's the exosuits for Marauders. They're going to, that's awesome. The contract ops, we're going to have regular clothed uh, 118 scale figures to go with our regular Marauders with their BDUs. Uh, we're going to have new face sculpts, new hats, new uh, face sculpts with sunglasses on, which is going to be fantastic. Here are the, I guess, blueprints for the exosuits. I believe this is a jetpack shield this is a shield right here. That's awesome. This is like a jetpack glider. That is so freaking cool. Yes, or Pox, I definitely got to do Dirty Dozen. I, I have to. It's I love that movie. Um, but uh, here's the optics right here for the exosuit. This is going to be so cool. There's so much different mixing and matching you can do with this. I cannot wait. It's going to come with bladed weapons, guns. It's going to come with a whole bunch of stuff. Different attachments you can add on. As you can see, this is all modular right here with the, with the regular Marauders figure. It's going to be great. Moving on, you have the contract ops. Um, we're finally getting some military dress hats. For your generals and stuff like that. Um, we've got some optics right here. Some night vision and stuff like that. That's really cool. That you can attach the helmet. Um, these are the over the eye optics. We've got um, like a mask. Is that like a gas mask? No. That's like some, some other kind of attachment to the, to the helmet. Maybe it's like an armored piece. It's just modern military face mask. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. We've got some uh, headsets for for helicopter pilots and stuff like that. Tank drivers. Um, we're getting some blade, more bladed weapons, more bladed weapons right here. Really cool. This axe and these these uh, swords with sheaths, which is pretty sweet. 
Uh, we're getting bandana sculpted heads. Yes, thank you. I know you rock and roll fans out there are going to want this. I know you're going to. We've got some new bladed weapons right here with sheaths. Thank God. Um, some knee pad be, um, attachments, removable knee pads, similar to what Pursuit of Cobra did and 30th Anniversary did with G.I. Joe. Um, elbow pads, too. Removable elbow pads. How cool is that? Uh, we've got more attachments over here, new head sculpts. So basically we have, uh, what other head sculpts do we have? Uh, different removable hats. We have the, I guess you want to call those knit hats, those those uh, Navy SEAL, like kind of like sh what Shipwreck wears in the 50th anniversary release. Um, and those will be removable, and those will be able to fit over the regular Marauder's hats. We've got sunglass wearing Head sculpts, really cool. Um, uh, man, this is going to be so cool. Regular clothed. we got T-shirt, uh, upper torsos. We've got pant, pants, uh, lower torsos. Um, oh, we got our C-clip pouches. Oh, yes. So cool. And these will fit right on the uh, already released uh, tack vests. Which is awesome. Here, here comes the wife. And now we've got the dogs. Look at these beautiful dogs right here. Oh my god, I can't wait for these. Now this is the first head sculpt. I'm not sure if these are going to be interchangeable. It would be really cool if they were interchangeable. But here's also fully articulated dogs. They have swivels right here in in the, uh, the arms. Swivels at the and bends at the knees and the feet bends over here in the back of the hind legs. I believe that the tails are articulated as well, as well as the heads. As you can see, there's a ball ball joint right there. Man, these are good. Oh my God, I can't wait. Here's the other head, the kind of neutral faced head right there. And then we have goggles on the dog. This is fantastic. Look at this tack vest for the dog. Oh my God. He's even got a little uh, bandana collar right here. This is so cool. And then I, I believe, yeah, so there's the there's the angry face. There's the angry face with the ears pinned back. Neutral face. And then we have the goggles over it. I'm not sure if the goggles, this might just be a head sculpt right here because it doesn't say removable goggles here. But they, I, I, maybe I'm guessing they might do removable goggles to save some some money there. But uh, really awesome stuff. Here's some 118 scale weapons, some new stuff. We've got uh, my favorite L96 sniper rifle. I'll be definitely be picking this up. Um, yeah, so we got some more pistols. I've been begging for those. We got a new saw. We got a couple more sniper rifles right here. I'm pretty sure this is the sniper rifle used in the very first sniper that Billy Zane used. That sniper rifle right there. Uh, I believe it's a HK. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's a MAC-10 right there. There's a whole bunch of um, assault rifles right here. These uh, um, SOCOM sniper rifle right here. Uh, different stocks and stuff like that. So different options. We're getting more options with Marauders, which is fantastic. Now we've got one 12 scale. we got our 6-inch scale saw right here that they're now they're starting to do six inch scale we got a sniper rifle right here which is really cool um so you marvel legends fans out there you're gonna want to get these so that's pretty cool i like that and then here's some up close um pictures of the six inch scale it's got paint apps on it so that's good these are six inch as you can see here, they're showing them with some six-inch figures. These are not three and three-quarter inch; they're six-inch. Look good, Dan. They look good. And these are not the—I uh, don't think these are the final product paint apps. They're, these are just the prototypes. But there's the dogs. They also are going to include muzzles with the dogs. Different tack vests right here. You got to kind of have a mesh one right here, and that's like a fully body armored tack vest for the dog. Man, these are. So dope. So dope.
Um, and there's also a game coming out. There's a role-playing, an RPG game. Um, it's not for me, but uh, I just kind of want to give you guys a heads up that a role-playing game is coming out for Marauders Task Force. Um, get that money, man. I, I, the more money that goes to Marauders, I'm happy with. I, 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 want them to, I want them to succeed as much as possible. So we get more and more from them because they are they've taken over GI Joe as far as I'm concerned. They what they are doing is just what GI Joe should be now. Um, so, but uh, that's pretty much it for that. I will uh, stop screen sharing now. I will go back over here. You guys can see my silly mug. Okay, let's go check chat because I don't want to lose track of chat here. Uh, da, 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 da. Marauders bring in the heat, says Lamar. Hasbro better step up their game, and it's only a matter of time before they start making vehicles and playsets. Oh my God, you're not kidding. They they start Marauder starts making vehicles and playsets. Holy shit! Uh, I'm all I'm all in. I'll get them. I'll definitely pick them up. Uh, just now, FYI, help me out. My name is pronounced A N. A N day, A N D, A N day. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But thanks, thanks for letting me know. I told you, I'm horrible with pronouncing names. Don't try not to hold it against me, guys. If I say your name wrong, I apologize. I mean, if if I had the opportunity, I'd say my own name wrong. Okay, so. <laughs> um, but what's up, A N A N day, A N day, A N day. There we go, A N day. Okay. Um, but what's up, bud? Thanks for, for joining me. Everybody, thanks for, for joining me today. Uh, just love the fact that I have people to talk about, talk, uh, action figures with. Yeah, man. I'm, I mean, that's why, you know, Strident and I, and, uh, a lot of my, my other fellow, um, YouTuber collectors, uh, we've been trying to, you know, build this community where we can just sit around and just talk about action figures. Why the hell not? That's, that's the best part about doing this, you know? All right. So next, I showed you all that stuff. Here's the uh, the jet ski. I know I went off on a little tangent there, but I had to show you that Marauder stuff because it's just so cool. Um, yeah, this, this is so cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to pick this up, it's, it's at Toys R Us. There was actually uh, four of them at my local Toys R Us. Looks great. So if you want to do, like, a Coast Guard setup, you could totally do it. I love this little working searchlight. Like I said, it does project, and it does also swivel and rotate. So you can get a really good range of motion here with that. Full 360, goes up. You can even tilt it to the side. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, what's up, Jose? How you doing, buddy? Just geeking out with some true heroes and some Joes. Thank you so much for um, for that uh, that other exclusive. My team is almost complete now, so I have. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> I have uh, skydive now. It's, I don't know why he's on this. <laughs> Still, get out of there. I've got skydive. Where the hell did his uh, goggles go? Uh oh. Hello, goggles. Where's it go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? I'll find them. They're somewhere around here. Yeah, they're somewhere. But um, my Sky Patrol's team is almost complete. Skydive, airwave, drop zone. I showed all those in the beginning of the uh, video, so if you guys want to go back and check that out, you can. Also picked up the uh, Saw Viper, and uh, I picked up some of these at Super Flea, uh, my Super Flea, my local Super Flea market. Uh, not the one that I'm going to do a trade with somebody tomorrow, but you guys will see that video. I'm going to show you that tomorrow. Um, let's open up Elizabeth Shaw. Let's do it. Let's open her up. Take a look at her. I know, I know. Cut away from you. I know. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Get that out of here. Bye-bye. Nobody cares about you. Packaging. 
All right. Got Elizabeth Shaw here. Use the force. Yeah, definitely. If you guys are looking for any sort of uh, exclusive, um, Big Boy Collectibles has a whole bunch of Jokon exclusives, uh, SDCC exclusives, and um, he also has a lot of the FSS Collectors Club, if you want to check that out. He also got, um, I think the, I think he's got General Flag 3 up there. He's got a whole bunch of the new ones that just came out. All right, so Elizabeth Shaw. Now, there's a, a <laughs> these were originally canceled, these figures. Vickers, I believe it was Vickers, it was Shaw, and it was the um, infected, what was his name? I have to look on the packaging. Infected uh, Fife, uh, yeah, Fifield. Uh, Fifield, I mean, all these figures were there, but I ended up passing on Fifield and I ended up passing on Vickers. Um, not because I didn't have any ambition to get them. I just didn't want to spend too much money, to be honest with you. I was already picking this up for 30 bucks, and then these were about, you know, 22 all on their own. So it's about 100 bucks. So, but here is Shaw. Let's put her helmet. Actually, I'll show you guys uh, her head sculpt first. Come on, focus. There we go. Oh, why is this thing not focusing today? There we go. She looks really good. I think this is a overall really good face sculpt. Focus. Ugh. But overall, really good face sculpt. I like the detail on the back as well. There we go. And we'll put her helmet on now. And uh, just to note on the helmet... There are some grooves here that you can see and you just pretty much want to line those grooves up and just use some pressure and push that down. And now we've got her helmet on. Looks really good. Why is this thing not wanting to focus today? <sighs> I might have to think about getting a new webcam. But there she is with her helmet on, and then she does come with the, the head of David, <laughs> the decapitated head of David. I think it's a pretty good face sculpt. Looks really good. Definitely looks like Michael Fassbender. I don't actually have the Prometheus uh, David head, but looks really good. I mean, you got to love NECA. They do such good jobs with their sculpts. And here's some of the... Does, uh, 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 there's a spinal cord. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. And then she's gonna we got her axe here. There's her axe. Very unique design for the axe. Looks pretty cool. All right, we're gonna put this axe in her hand. We're going to make her two-handed. Two-handed. There we go. Beautiful. Looking great. I'll take the helmet off so we don't have so much glare. There we go. There's the end scene. The axe and the engineer. I really like the overall anatomy that she's got here. It looks, 
You know what I mean? Like this look this really looks and feels like Elizabeth Shaw. Looks good. Looks really good. I you know what? And that's kind of a bummer that they ended up killing off her character like that because it would have been really nice if she would have if Nomi Rapace would have came back and uh we've got to I mean I would have liked proper closure for her character, I think. I don't know. I, I, I liked Prometheus. I don't know. Some people don't like it, but I thought Prometheus was better than Alien Covenant, to be honest with you. I really like the, the design of this suit, too. It's pretty cool looking. I like the overall look. It's a really good face sculpt. I can't get over that face sculpt. Looks beautiful. Focus, damn you. I just want to get like one really good shot of her face. It's not wanting to do it today. But she looks great. Love it. Um, as far as articulation, her head can swivel, can look up, and looks down nicely. Good, good range of motion in that head. For a, for a female head sculpt, usually female head sculpts do not have good range of motion. But that's a really good range right there. Let me just take her axe off her hand there. And her arms can swivel. And this is a rubbery type plastic, rubbery material, I should just say. Right there, her arms go up, down, so it doesn't get in the way, which is really nice. And we got a single bend at the elbow. We have a swivel, swivel at the wrist. And they, the wrist can pivot a little bit up and down, just a little bit. And the, the uh, elbows do swivel. She does have a waist swivel, which is really nice. And it can kind of do a little bit of an ab crunch right there from the just the waist joint and then she has a secondary swivel at the diaphragm and a pivot too so there's a lot of good range of motion here in this upper torso i'm really liking it the legs go forward not that far and they can swivel really good swivel there on the top of the thigh so it's nice and hidden and then we can do the splits that's some good splits. Some really good splits. A single bend at the knee, less than 90 degrees. Swivel at the knee. And then we have ankle articulation right here. And she does have an ankle pivot. Right there. So she's pretty well articulated. Looks really good. I'm, pretty, I'm really happy with this figure, the way it turned out. This is going to go beautiful. Beautiful in my display. I always have a soft spot for NECA. I mean, I know I've had some quality control issues with some, some figures in the past. But I just, I don't know. They just hold a soft spot in my heart. When you get a product like that looks like this and can move the way it does. Damn. She looks great. She looks great. <laughs> does she come with Kung Fu action grip? <laughs> she does, actually. <laughs> uh, Lamar says, uh, NECA toys are hit or miss with some of their figures. They still have quality control issues, but Shaw, Shaw's figure actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't have any issues with her. Um, I mean, if, if something broke on her, I would have an issue. Trust me. Uh, but I don't have any paint chipping, no cracking, no loose joints. Um, some NECA figures do have loose joints. The I mean, don't get me wrong. When, when something's a turd, I'll point it out. You guys know that about me. All right, next. Alien Covenant Xenomorph. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I really let me just say this. I really do like this packaging. It's very nice. I like how 
how different it sets itself apart from the regular NECA packaging, which is this, uh, you know, plastic type. Um, but uh, looks good. Nice resealable box. I always love resealable boxes. Pretty much that's like the norm now, it's resealable boxes. But there's a little read-up right there if you guys want to pause that and read it. You can if it's not too blurry for you. It just gives a little bit of a synopsis of what goes on during the movie. Nothing too crazy. All right. Let's play the zip tie game, NECA. I do actually have the albino, I'm not sure what it's called. Sorry, Aliens fans. The albino neomorph is it a neomorph i think it's called neomorph the backburster i'll just call it the backburster i did pick that up um it's actually a really nice figure and it did come with an uh i it also ugh, slow down it also offer uh neca offered a uh, backburster alien egg set that i picked up too um i might do a separate video on that i'm not going to do it today but uh yeah all right, here we have my very first Xenomorph. Very first one right here. Never owned one. Heard a lot of quality control issues with the Xenomorphs, not being able to stand, shit breaking on them, arm swivels snapping. So let's just see what we have here. Let's see if we can stand. Joints seem tight. Wow, he is tall as shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, this Xenomorph is a totally different sculpt from what we're used to with this kind of Xenomorph. Because this Xenomorph is from Covenant, and this is the design. I think it's a little bit different from your regular Xenomorph. All right. Oh, yeah. This is, ooh, this is really nice. Bend, bendy wire in the tail. Got to have that. It's like one of the most important things I have for an alien figure. I'm not... I don't feel... It doesn't feel like it's brittle or anything. I'm, this is pretty nice. No pretty tight fluid joints. Looking good so far. So far. So far, so good. I like that the head is translucent. So you can see into the skull. The elongated skull of the Xenomorph. That's really cool. Does have the articulated jaw, obviously. And the mouth. This mouth better come out. You, you better come out, you son of a bitch. There we go. <laughs> so awesome. Now, this is a different design. This is the Alien Covenant design for the Xenomorph. So it is, like I said, it is different from your regular, typical Xenomorph warrior. I think. I think I, know, I might be making a mistake because this is the only, this is the first time ever unboxing a or a, a owning a Xenomorph. Period. Looks really cool. I like that uh, we've got musculature here now with your regular Xenomorph, right here. Uh, I know this isn't a regular Xenomorph, but this style Xenomorph that we're used to, as far as the tooling goes and the body mold. Um, it looks like it's kind of like a mixture of skeleton, musculature, and armor. On the xenomorphs that we're used to seeing, like in Aliens, um, this is more of like a, a muscular skeleton kind of body for this alien. He's got musculature. You can see all the muscles intertwining with each other right here. And this is pretty much throughout the entire body. I really like the paint shading going throughout this. It's a nice, delicate wash going throughout it's not too much where it's like Ugh! it looks like the figure's dirty it's nice defined it, it it's it's 
the shading is where it needs to be with the figure. And I, let's let's do the stand test. Why the hell not, right? See if I can get this down there. Let's see if he'll stand on his own. I'm gonna do one upright and then one with his like his knees bent and stuff like that. Oh, he actually has foot articulation too. Wow, I don't think th th these does this have foot articulation? I don't think so. This is one tall bastard. Let me just tell you that. This might take a minute, so bear with me here. <laughs> Gotta find that sweet spot. It does have an ankle pivot, but it's not that type of ankle pivot that you think. It's high up on the arch of the foot. Let me get his leg out more. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm not sure how this xenomorph would stand. I can't remember from the movie. I only saw the movie once, so... I'm not sure if he stands completely upright or if he's bent in the in the in the foot or in the leg. Hmm. He's kind of being a pain there. He's a little bit top heavy. Let me be honest here. He is a little bit top heavy in his things are his little breathing apparatuses on his back are kind of getting in the intertwined with each other. I mean, I don't want to sit here forever and Let me see if I can get his arm back. Bring this arm forward. All right. Well, I mean, his joints are tight. It's I think it's the foot articulation kind of getting in the way of him standing. Let me fix this so it stays. It's kind of wanting to get in the way of him standing here. I'm trying to balance him by bringing the one lay, one arm forward, one arm back. Widen his stance too. But yeah, this this foot articulation, I could see this over time kind of causing problems. Maybe it is on a nice ratchet joint, ratchet joint. Excuse me. Um, which is nice. So I, I don't think any other NECA aliens xenomorph figure has had toe articulation, at least that I know of. But like I said, he, as far as uh, the articulation does go, he does have this kind of, it's almost like a, it's like a swivel ankle pivot right here. Um, there's no, I, wait, is there a hinge? Yeah, there is a hinge right there. A little bit of a hinge. Yep. So there's a nice little range of motion there in the hind leg or the ankle, I should say. And then we have a hinge joint right here. He's got uh, like almost like a double jointed knee, but it's like a ball joint right here and then a hinge right here. So there's the hinge and that's fully extended. That's fully bent. And then we have the swivel here at the ball joint. A little bit of range of motion in the ball joint. And then we have the upper thigh swivel, which is hidden by the crotch piece, which is nice. And this crotch piece is actually kind of like a, a rubbery, pliable plastic, which is good. And then we can do the splits nicely, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Does uh, expose the ball joints. was kind of ugly, but... I mean, don't expect <laughs> him to be doing some... <laughs> 
<laughs> martial arts kicks, you know. <laughs> he does have a diaphragm joint right here, which you can swivel. And he can pivot side to side and front and back. Swivel, a uh, ball joint at the head, which can swivel and look down and look up. I already showed you the hinge joint and the hidden mouth in there, which you can extend. The arms go up about that far. They go down, full 360 rotation. Uh, a really good range of motion in that arm. Look at that arm bend. Fantastic. Now we have a swivel in the arm, too. We also have a swivel in the hand. And a hinge joint. It's kind of on a... Yeah, no, that's a hinge. Hinge joint right there. And it can't rotate up and down. Um, so no, none of that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is... The Alien Covenant Xenomorph. You're kind of going to have to play with him uh, to get him to stand, I think, but I think he can stand. I'm pretty sure he can stand. Um, he is a little bit top-heavy, but I think if you work with him, you work with the tail, stuff like that. Um, I mean, if you wanted to use him as a tripod, the tail is a tripod, you could and have it kind of hold him up. You could go that route if you want to. If you're, you know. There you go. You could do that. If you don't want to, um, like I said, you're going to have to play around with him a little bit to get him to go. But he'll, I think he'll stand. I think he will. I'm also going to have to look up some reference photos of how this alien stands naturally in the movie to get him to get into that pose. Like I said, I've only seen the movie once. I wasn't a really big fan of it, so um, I, I can't remember every little detail of it. But he looks dope, though. I like the design. And just a little size comparison here. Here's Elizabeth Shaw. And here's the this xenomorph. So as you can see, I mean, let me get better size side by side. There they are, foot to foot, right there. He's huge. He is very a rather large fellow. All right, last one. Let me just set him aside right here. I'm gonna open up this bad boy. This is from Aliens Defiance. I'm pretty sure that this is a based off a comic book. I'm, I, at least I'm thinking. It says, while searching for survivors aboard the... So, oh, they got weird dog hair all over the place. On the Siegson Research Station above LV4440, Private Zula Hendricks came face-to-face -face with a hideous new xenomorph specimen. Ooh, so this is a new one. I did not know. Having involved in, having evolved in isolation, the creature was developed the ability to produce a vicious substance capable of breaking down the genetic material of heavy cocoon hosts to produce new face-hugger eggs. Oh, jeez, that's not good. <laughs> In the absence of a queen, further propagating, whoa, 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 I said that weird, it's specimen until the queen is born. So this guy can use a, a vicious substance, break down genetic material. Wow, this guy can actually form a alien queen. Isn't that something? That's crazy. I did not know that. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is some cool shit right there. All right. Get this opened up. Finish our review here of randomness. And I'll show you the boat one more time before I let you guys go. Because I have to go get something to eat. I am starving.
Starvin, Starvin, Marvin. I know, I gotta pick this mess up too. Oh, zip ties. More and more zip ties. I gotta check chat. Oh my god, I'm sorry, chat. Chat, where you at? All right. Uh, uh, Lamar says, yeah, do you see uh, the one I the one I just held up is the one you have. Oh, you just picked up the Alien Defiance one? Okay. What the f What's going on with the zip tie? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fucking blocked. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. You're fucking blocked. Get the fuck out of here with that ignorant shit, cocksucker. Okay, we had a troll. We got rid of him. No worries, he's gone. Someone with nothing better to do. Sit on the bench, bitch! There's shit somewhere else. There's shit somewhere the fuck else. I want to see that crap. Shithead. All right, next. Oh, wow, this comes with a display base? Nice. Yeah, I don't know, Zorpox, but it's gone. I'll tell you that. I have no patience for that garbage. Get the fuck out of here with that crap. Um, Yeah, fuck that guy. Wow, this is really nice. I'm really liking this paint deco, too. I think this is a lot of this figure is... A lot of the what's reused. Wow, the tail's a lot beefier on this guy, and the the blade on the end of his tail is a lot beefier too. It may, yeah, I know. It makes no, absolutely no fucking sense. No, not 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 here. Not not never. Not not now. Get the fuck the fuck out of here with that crap. Wow, this is really cool. He's got like a mouth. He's got like a mouth. <laughs> this guy's so awesome. He's got a mouth, two sets of jaws. Look at this. Upper jaw right there. Two sets. There's the teeth right there. There's another set right there. And then there's the little mini mouth in there too. Isn't that cool? Look at that. All the way in the back. I guess, I'm going to have to get some tweezers to see if I can get that other mouth now there's a here i gotta have to get really close up for this you ready there's another set of jaws in there and then there's the mini mouth in there too way up there in the back it's kind of tough to see i know my webcam is not wanting to show it right now but there's a mouth in there inside there you can see the jaws in there but oh oh now it's focusing all of a sudden but there's this thing has wow that is crazy. So there's a, a the mini mouth in the back, and then we have another set of jaws right here. So it's almost like the Deacon. Do you guys remember the the uh, the Deacon from uh, from uh, what should we call it? What's wrong with me right now? From Prometheus, where at the end it had the regular head. And then when he would open it up, he would fully extend that other mouth would come out. So it's kind of like that, but a little bit more evolved. So he's got a second set of jaws in there and then a third mouth in there too. So this thing's crazy cool. This is a really cool design. I like this head sculpt too, how it's got the, the spines on the, on the top. Yeah, L Lamar, yeah, you definitely got to open it, man. It's really nice. I like how beefy this dude is. He's bigger than this one. Hold on a second.
Don't worry, I'm going to keep an eye on chat if anyone tries that bullshit again. I reported them too, so don't worry, guys. I don't play that crap. Not on my channel. Go to someone else's channel and do that racist shit. Fucking hate that shit. Let me get this guy up right. He does come with a display base, too. All right. Stay. Stay. Good alien. Good. And we'll get this guy next to him. Actually, they're around the same size. But this guy's definitely bulkier between the two. I would definitely be more afraid of this guy if I have to choose between the two. Um, plus the, uh, the claws that he's got here. And even the, uh, breathing tubes on the back are shaped differently. Um, a little bit, um, on the Covenant. JD, what's up, buddy? The Covenant breathing tubes on the back here, they're a little bit warped, but this is how they're supposed to be. Like that. And then we have these tubes, which are further apart, as you can see. So, a little bit different. A lot different, actually. Look at the collarbones here, how they're different. The overall, how he's a little bit skinnier. He's a little bit beefier in the rib cage area. This one looking a little bit, the Covenant one looking a little bit more human. And the Defiance one looking more alienous. Alien esque, I should say. Um, this guy also has a third, like a, a, an extra spine coming out of the back. Let's put him down for a second. As you can see right here, this extra spine coming out of the back with little spines, too. Looks really cool. I don't know which one I like better. I thought I liked this guy better. I don't know. I think I might like this guy better. He looks really cool. Ah, got to keep an eye on chat. Yeah, this head sculpt is, I think, this might be my favorite uh, alien head sculpt. Although, the fact that you can see the skull and it's got translucent plastic on this is a huge plus. But you almost don't need it for this design due to the spines. To me, it seems like this is the more evolved version of the two. Um, like, it, it, it's, it's got these spines for a reason to protect the head, where this is kind of unprotected. It's got a, kind of like its own armor, instead of having, like, a helmet, because we all know xenomorphs don't have technology. They're all uh, organic. All about that organic. I, uh, the, the tail is much beefier than the Covenant one, too, as you can see. Even the, the blade on the end of the tail right here, as you can see on the Covenant one, is much smaller. And this blade is much larger on the Defiance one. There we go. Looks good, man. Um, as far as his articulation does go, let me just get this out of the way. I don't want it in the frame while I'm doing this. Um, the head can swivel all the way to about there, and then the collarbone kind of gets in the way. He does have a hinge joint right here, and I'm pretty sure this little mini mouth can come out all the way back up there in the back. I'm going to try and get that to come out. Maybe I'll do an update video with, with it out, but I don't have any tweezers here. I don't have anything to, to grab it. Um, but the head can look down and up like so. It can pivot side to side. Let me check if the other one can pivot as well. No, can't. Nope, so no pivot on this one. Um, the arms go up about that far, down, and a full 360 rotation there. Does have a bicep swivel. 
and then a sink uh, uh, a hinge joint. We actually got a hinge joint in the elbow and a swivel in the elbow. Swivel in the wrist and a hinge joint. Oh. Oh my god, don't even tell me this just broke. <laughs> With my luck it broke, right? You saw it live. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. It's probably just um, a, a design flaw. I'll get it back in. There's a, a slit mark right here, and I think it's just a design flaw. There it goes right back in. So there's the hinge joint. Yeah. I think I got a defective one. Yep. It's defective. Let's check this side. This side does. So I got a defective one. There's the first problem. QC. Right here. Shit QC right here. Now I can't use this uh, swivel. Well, I can swivel it, but I can't use the hinge joint. <laughs> so there's a design flaw. I don't think a design flaw, but a shitty QC on that wrist joint. So it's something to look out for in case you, uh, you know, pick this guy up. Um, Lamar, it's something for you to look out for in case you're going to open this guy. Check your wrist hinges first. Um, he also does have a swivel at the diaphragm. A crunch forward and back, pivot side to side, swivel, stuff, all that stuff. And it does have a ratchet swivel, which is pretty nice. And you can do the splits nicely. Legs go forward. I would say better range of motion than the Covenant one. The upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. There it is, fully extended. It does have a hinge, uh, hinge joint right here, and the hind leg. And then we have a swivel here at the foot, and I think it's at a ball socket. No, that's a hinge. There's a hinge here at the foot as well. And then we have our bendy wire tail. So that's pretty much it for that. No, Lamar, never leave toys in the package. Take them out, play with them. Never, don't be afraid of them. Take them out, play with them. Meant to be played with. But um, it also does include a display stand. I'm not really sure what the hell you're supposed to use this for. <laughs> the, um, the prongs here are not adjustable. So, I mean, if you do use them, uh, I don't know if I'm... Feeling this display stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Predator figures are, I think, in better shape than the aliens. That's why I've been apprehensive to pick up alien figures. I'm not feeling this display base. What is the point of this? If it doesn't go all the way up to here. Uh, th this seemed like a nice thing that they included, but I, I don't know. It, it can't even pinch the leg. Like, I don't know what the hell the point of this is. I'm not going to use it. But let's see. Maybe. 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 Maybe we can use it for Joe's. No. <laughs> you use it as a, a jumping stand. He's got too much... Best on. Let me get, uh, you know what? It's been a. There we go. Huh! <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> what the hell? 
I, mean, I guess I, I guess you could use it for Joe's. <laughs> Aliens on ice. Let's see if it'll work with Shaw. I, I don't know. I, I I don't know if this was ever designed for alien figures. This display base. <laughs> Let's get that out of here. All right. Um. I don't know. My overall uh, opinion of these. I mean, these are my two xenomorphs that I, I. I these are the first two xenomorphs that I've ever owned. Um. You know what? As far as design goes, I'd say. In certain ways, this is the superior one. Um, he does have bits of articulation and uh, in some points has better range of motion. I feel like this is an older bo uh, older body mold. But I love the sculpt of this some more. They both, have, they both have good things to them. I'm not a fan of this shit, though. That shit, they need to cut the shit with their QC. Um, but the, I mean, the sculpt is going to sell you on these. Um, the articulation and range of motion are good on them, but you know, just be careful. It, it is NECA. Their QC um, has some. It, it might leave you wanting. So uh, Shaw, though, I have no problem with Shaw. Shaw's great. She's a good one. But getting these guys to stand is kind of a, a task. I'd say it's it's probably a little bit easier to get him to stand than the Covenant one due to his uh, foot hinge joint. But uh, you notice there's peg holes at the bottom of these feet and no peg holes at the bottom of these feet. Thank you for putting peg holes at the bottom of these feet. So uh, if you do have a display stand with some peg holes, uh, at least he can use those. So... There's that option. It would have been nice if they included a display stand with these. I don't know why we don't get those anymore, but we don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> At least with our Joes, we get display stands still. So, I mean, if you're a big Aliens fan, I'd say, you know, you're going to want to pick these up. I could see it. I get it. But, I don't know. Uh, maybe if I... May I might have maybe I would have passed on this guy. And like I said, I, I kinda wanna wait for the the ultimate version of the aliens figure because I know that they did update that mold and maybe it's a little bit more like this mold, which would be a little bit more durable. But as you can see, um differences in the, the body mold, it's there. This is a different design for Xenomorph. Um, as you can see, he's got fingers, where this guy's kind of got the typical um, alien kind of claw hand, where it's kind of like two fingers attached to each other. So there's the differences between the two. But um, that's it for the alien stuff. Okay. I really like the Shaw, man. She is. It's, it's a gorgeous face. Absolutely. Absolute gorgeous figure, as I stumble over my words there. She looks great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Making myself hungry. I don't even need to. You guys eat fast food out there? You guys eat fast food? All right, let me check out uh, what we got here. The Colonial Marines are pretty solid, too. I actually have that two-pack. Let me fix my camera here. I actually picked up that two-pack from Big Bad Toy Store uh, quite a while ago. I think I did an unboxing video, and they were included in that. That's a review I do want to shoot. Um, those are the first two Colonial Marines that I did get, which was, um, uh, what was it, Hicks and Bill Paxton's character. I can't forget. What the hell is the matter with me? Oh, anyway, it's slipping my mind for the second. Um, but, uh, yeah, that two-pack does look good. I'm going to have to open that up. I keep forgetting that I have it. Um, a new Storm Shadow jumping stand? Yeah, that's true. I could use that for that. Um. Yeah, I I I did see that. Uh, I actually have a couple of those NECA display stands. They're kind of hit or miss. I've had one crack on me and break, uh, but the other three that I own have been working out pretty good. So it's not it's not too bad. Yeah, Hudson, that's right. Um, thanks for that, Lamar. 
Okay. Buy Marauders display stands. Yeah, they're like 75 cents, I think. Yeah, they might be cheaper than that. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think that might be it. So I picked up, I'll just go over everything that I picked up in case you guys just tuned in a little bit late. I picked up this Saw Viper. This was a JoeCon exclusive, I believe. And I, I didn't, you know, I, I think I've, what, I paid like 20, 20 bucks for this. So I think it goes for around 32 on eBay right now. And then we got uh, most of our Sky Patrol. And I picked this up, actually, I mean, it was at a flea market, but it was actually at, um, uh, it was a, a, a Joe Collector. So so he helped me out with that, that, and, I mean, we've seen Skydive all day. I've been, <laughs> it's been our little test dummy for the day. And there's Skydive. And I'm going to use these guys for some pilots, because I need some pilots. Oh, and his helmet is removable, by the way. Sorry, I didn't show that. I think this is I think this is a reused head sculpt from either I think Mutt, I want to say. I think it's Mutt. But um really cool stuff. Those are those are great. Um like I said, I picked up this carded flag. I think it was like 10 bucks. Not bad at all. The boat, I'll bring up the boat again. There's the boat. Um, it's a, I mean, in some ways, it's a little bit small, um, but I think this works. I think this can definitely work if you want to do like a, like a Marauders, or even a, you know, like a GI Joe themed like rescue mission. You could do like Coast Guard themed Marauders. That could work. Could totally go that route. I, and like I said, I love the removable or the hinge joint at the top of there. I like that there's two seats inside there. It actually works. I like the staging area again, like I said, for the divers and the usable searchlight. So, yeah, there you go. There is the boat. There is the boat. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am starving. I have not eaten in quite some time. So, um... I'm going to let you go here. I hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu uh, review. Stare at David's head. <laughs> um, let me just go over some. Game over, man. Game over. Just placed an order with Big Boy. They have new boss fight. Yeah, they have the, the they have uh, what was it? Wave two of boss fight studios figures. Yeah, he's got them in stock. If you guys want to check that out, it's the knight, the fairy, and I believe the ogre. So if you guys want to check that out, um, they're basically like um, uh, they're they're going the mythic legions route with a wave two point uh, is boss fight. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. They're they're awesome looking figures. Um. I will say this: I on some of the Boss Fight Studios pages, I have seen some quality control issues with the um, the arm joints at the shoulder cracking and breaking. So, just you know, what I always usually do, what I try to do with new figures, um, actually these, I try to douse them in hot water, a little bit of hot water. Um, I mean, obviously, I didn't do that here. And most of the figures in my reviews, I usually try to do. That's why I do a lot of jump cuts um, in the beginning of my reviews. Um, I usually try to get some hot water on their joints first to make them loosen up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I have noticed some issues with the shoulder joints on them. Just to, just to put that out there. Um, Mar says, yeah, Wibnin, that was an awesome discussion. I should live in the same state. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks, Lamar. Uh, Terry Turner. I'll see you later, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna do some shout-outs here. Uh, WWE fan, what's up? Uh, congratulations to him. He's got a girlfriend now. Good, good job, bud. On that front. 
<laughs> uh, Lamar, thank you. Lamar Newton, um, thanks for uh, sticking around and hanging out and talking. It was nice talking to you, bud. Uh, Zorpox the Destroyer, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Uh, A.N. Day, thank you. Thank you also for correcting me. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Terry Turner, obviously, Jose from Big Boy Collectibles. Go check out bigboycollectibles.com. Uh, Jose, thanks for stopping by and hanging out, buddy. We got to do another hangout again soon. Uh, JD, thanks for stopping by, buddy. I appreciate it. And I think that's it. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, impromptu um, reviewing unboxing st stuff. <laughs> A reviewing unboxing pickups video, all of the above. But uh, yeah, you know, I did my best with what I'm, I'm working with here, which is a webcam. But uh, maybe we, down the line we'll do another one. But uh, for now, this will have to do. So Elizabeth says goodbye. <laughs> But I'm going to go get some food because I'm starving. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to everyone, even if you're just lurking. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for the continued support. You guys are awesome. Um, I do have – I'm in the works with my, my next Marauders video. So there's a lot going on in that video. There's a lot of stuff that has evolved, and there's a lot of stuff that's new. Okay, so stay tuned for that. and. I definitely am doing uh, – I should have another review up, a Joe review up within either tomorrow or Monday, but Monday at the latest. So stay tuned for that. I promise by Monday a new review will be up. So with that being said, uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Enjoy your weekend. You guys have all fun, all, all the fun that you can. I said that weird. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, – uh, oh, there's also a channel I wanted to plug, uh, Dealer Destro. Go check him out. He's a newer channel. Um, I think he's been around for about a year. Uh, I did want to plug him. He does a lot of Joe reviews, a lot of um, um, so exclusives and stuff like that. But uh, go over there and check him out. He's a uh, you know, he's a he's a smaller channel, but you know, let's let's get him up there. Let's give him some subs. You know, so go check him out as well. And uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side.